Good morning. Morning, Father. Our intention for today's Mass is for Terry Bison. I'm forgetting you there. <laughs> I am the salvation of the people, says the Lord. Should they cry to me in any distress, I will hear them, and I will be their, be their Lord forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that, by keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> <clears throat> a reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. Rejoice, O young man, while you are young, and let your heart be glad in the days of your youth. Follow the ways of your heart, the vision of your eyes. Yet understand that as regards all this, God will bring you to judgment. Ward off grief from your heart, and put away trouble from your presence, though the dawn of youth is fleeting. Remember your Creator in the days of your youth, before the evil days come, in the year's approach of which you will say, I have no pleasure in them, before the sun is darkened, and the light and the moon and the stars while the clouds return after the rain. When the guardians of the house tremble and the strong men are bent and the grinders are idle because they are, they are few and they who look through the windows grow blind. When the doors to the street are shut and the sound of the mill is low, when one waits for the chirp of a bird but all the daughters of song are suppressed, and one fears heights and perils in the street. When the almond tree blooms and the locust grows sluggish and the caper berry is without effect, because man goes to his lasting home and mourners go about the streets. Before the silver cord is snapped, and the golden bow bowl is broken, and the pitcher is shattered at the spring, and the broken pulley falls into the well, and the dust returns to the earth so it once was, and the life breath returns to God who gave it. Vanity of vanities, says Kohaleth, all things are vanity. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, in the age, in every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You turn back, you turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday. Now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. And every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You make an end of them in their sleep. 
The next morning they are like the changing grass, which at dawn springs up anew, but by evening wilts and fades. And every day, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Teach us to number our days all aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. And every day, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. And may the gracious care of the Lord our God be ours. Prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. And every angel, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Savior Christ Jesus destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your blessing, Father. May the Lord be on your lips and in your heart that you may proclaim his gospel worthily and well. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While they were all amazed at every deed, Jesus, Jesus said to his disciples, Pay attention to what I'm telling you. The Son of Man is to be handed over to men. But they did not understand this saying. Its meaning was hidden from them, so that they should not understand it. And they were afraid to ask him about this saying. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's reading provides us great examples of the temptation to be self-absorbed in our own lives, making no place for God. They remind us that for thousands of years, we humans must remain on guard in order to be available in the present moment for whatever God has in store for us. In today's environment of information overload, this message may be more important than ever. Our first reading from a class of Ecclesiastes symbolically takes us through an entire life, from youth through the dust returning to the earth and one's breath of life returning to God. My Bible commentary tells, tells us that we can interpret vanity of vanities as meaning any human effort will end in futility. Perhaps as the dot on the exclamation mark, Ecclesiastes concludes in the next few verses that follow today's first reading. As to more than these, my son, beware. Of the making of many books, there is no end. And in much study, there is weariness for the flesh. The last word, when all is heard, fear God and keep his commandments. So as this book, which is jam-packed with wisdom teachings, concludes, it takes us back to the beginning of wisdom, of which it is said, fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. We can't get to where we need to be in our relationship with God and others through our own control and with only our own intellect. We have to be available in the moment, right now. In today's Gospel, the Apostles heard Jesus predict his passion for the second time. How available and in the moment were the Apostles? How much of Jesus' prediction did they take to heart? So much that in the very next verse in Luke's Gospel, following those we read today, the disciples are found arguing among themselves 
as to which of them was the greatest. To more fully appreciate their thick-headedness and to serve as a reminder of our own, we can consider that Jesus' second foretelling of his passion read in today's gospel actually follows his first passion prediction and the transfiguration, all in the same chapter in Luke. In the transfiguration, Peter, James, and John not only witnessed Jesus such that his face changed in appearance and his clothing became dazzling white, but they also saw Moses and Elijah standing with Jesus. And let's not forget they heard God the Father speak from the cloud. This is my chosen son. Listen to him. I think those last three words are pretty key. Listen to him. The apostles heeded this warning so much, this call to listen to Jesus so much, that in the very next verses of Luke, they're fighting among themselves as to which of them is the greatest. Unavailable in the moment is one thing. One might go so far as to accuse the apostles of being practically deaf and blind. But this is exactly the beauty of the apostles. They witness to the transformation possible in each one of us, warts and all. Just like the apostles, for the Holy Spirit to work in and through us, we have to make ourselves available. We're literally swimming in God, who is always and everywhere. How often do we pause to savor the divine? As we look forward to a full slate of SEC football for the first time this fall, Let's ask ourselves how we make room for God in our lives. We will now offer up our prayers to the faithful. For catechumens and candidates alive with new faith, for catechists and sponsors far along on the way, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the newborn and young at heart, for elders and those nearing death, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For families and friends made joyful by good times, for separated loved ones and spouses grieving loss, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those with bodies strong in youth and spirits bright with curiosity, for those with limbs made weak in sickness and minds clouded by age. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those on our daily prayer list and book of intentions, including Jan Williams, Will Rocksterman, John Halligan, Liam Stallworth, George Ann Villadu, Moriola DeSanto, Reardon Cater, Sister Angie Shaughnessy, Rita O'Brien, Joyce Martineau, Tommy Bozeman, and those mentioned in our prayer list and the Book of Intentions, <coughs> we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those whose seasons have come to an end, for those who await the fruits of life and wisdom, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Christopher Breckenfried, may he rest in peace. Lord, hear our prayer. For the cause of Jean-Claude Collin, founder of the Marists for Sainthood, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we hold in the quiet of our hearts, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, open our hearts to understanding your words, so that we can delve into you and know what you want of us in our lives. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. And pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive what favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through the heavenly history. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been things, <coughs> giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all nations. Therefore, he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hand we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and in giving thanks gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for mine, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with branches our Pope, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters 
who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, <coughs> and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. And through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and born by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious day that by the help of your mercy we, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ you said to your apostles peace I leave you my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her and may the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. And Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. And behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ. And let us pray. 
Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that they may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. What happens if you witness a shipwreck? You let it sink in. Have a good day now.